Hey, what's up, guys? Your average walker is back with another video of World of Warships. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about those top five battleships that are probably the most accurate in terms of their guns in World of Warships. These are probably my favorite picks, uh, if you ask me, in terms of their accuracy and how they're able to get a lot of shell hits onto a ship, an opponent ship, obviously. So I will talk about number five first because there are some of the most accurate guns that you can think of and one of them is going to be Yamato. It's a tier 10 Japanese tech free battleship that you can grind out for yourself for free. Now the Yamato is also a very much historical, uh, you know, uh, renowned battleship I would say. And Yamato has also pretty much insane guns as well, 460mm guns. Yamato can't go wrong with these guns and with these uh, guns having pretty good reload time and even though it only have a uh, battleship dispersion, uh, it's a, it has a big uh, dispersion ellipse that only rivals to those of pretty much normal battleships but the thing about the Yamato is that it has 2.1 Sigma which is probably the most accurate uh, Sigma that you can think of compared to many other battleships in the game and that's what compensate Yamato accuracy a lot if it, even if it has battleship dispersion ellipse okay so and by the way if you do try to use a legendary mod of Yamato this will improve the main battery shell dispersion even better which is minus seven percent even though the main battery traverse speed is gonna be slightly worse uh, but this is the case with even made battery one three, so nothing is going to be changing except you will get dispersion uh, instead of getting a reload time. And I would highly recommend that on Yamato. Yamato will start to feel a lot much more accurate after this legendary mod, and it is certainly definitely very very powerful ship. You have 32 millimeter overmatch, and at number five, I would say Yamato is a no brainer. It's a pick that I would still always do in any form of battle, whether it's randoms rank battles it will work still either way very good sniper very good range uh, i mean even if you have even if you can put spotter plane uh, the range is going to be insanely high you can go up to like 30 ish kilometers if you want to shoot carriers the accuracy is pretty good uh for tier 10 battleship like yamato highly highly recommended if you are looking to get one of those accurate guns uh on battleship so yamato definitely very good and worthy pick Alright, so at number 4, we are going to have Thunderer. This is a premium British battleship at tier 10 and kind of rare battleship right now. You cannot buy it or purchase it in any way possible except from the Santa rare containers which are soon coming. Uh, so you can purchase and get maybe the Thunder for yourself. Now Thunder is very accurate. I would say better than Yamato in terms of its accuracy and the reason there are a lot of reasons why it's removed for for sale is going to be these guns these guns are 457 millimeter guns with 1.9 sigma as well as battle cruiser dispersion and when you give battle cruiser dispersion to battleship guns they certainly start to get a bit too much accurate sometimes and with this uh, with this level of caliber the thunderer has and with this he it, probably the most insane he uh, alpha damage and fire chance that you can get on a battleship hull with these caliber it, it becomes a nightmare for any battleship to push into this guy with a concealment that is kind of rev uh, rivaling to that of heavy cruisers so yeah thunder is uh, thunder is really really accurate with these eight guns with insanely good reload time even though the range might be less than yamato but still with this good concealment you cannot go any wrong with this pick in terms of its accuracy the guns are really good i mean uh in 2021 it used to have a dead eye in the commander skills uh, section where every battleship can literally get 10 percent disper dispersion bonus the better your detectability is really and thunder used to get like like bonkers accurate i mean i remember when i used that eye on thunder it becomes cruiser dispersion is uh, accurate which is kind of stupid to watch and at the same time seeing battleships cry because all eight shells hitting on a battleship getting 12 13 15 20k volleys sometimes uh, it's it's just too much 
and it is still too much even with that accuracy without dead eyes so thunder with 1.9 sigma and battle cruiser dispersion with this insane guns with ap which is almost 15k alpha as he and nhe that has 8.2k alpha is kind of ridiculous with this he sorry with this he pen that is 114 millimeters that can literally death strike light cruisers like minotaur and small and could colbert yeah that shows a lot of this brokenness that thunder has in its arsenal and there are a lot of things but i want to mention a bit of rugriaro de loria now this is also having 1.8 sigma and battle cruiser dispersion but again slightly worse sigma means that it can't be better than thunder and that's why i'm not mentioning the, uh, mentioning the loria loria might be really good because well it's like an italian flavored thunder that has sap shells instead of itchy and sap is kind of ridiculous if you use them on broadside or superstructures on on the top of battleships or even cruisers that will just literally going to get overmatched by this sap from any angle but yeah this is also another case but thunder is definitely going to be my number four pick for sure what do you guys think if you think the thunder is really powerful please let me know in the comments and i'm going to be talking about the number three now okay at number three i'm going to be picking slava this is a russian battleship that has 406 millimeter guns less caliber than even thunder and yamato but again slava has something that no one has like ever in world of warship and that is its insane ridiculous soviet shell penetration and by the way it has 1.9 sigma and battle cruiser rich dispersion and even better dispersions uh, sometimes at long ranges compared to thunder and that's why i would say slava is a really interesting pick in terms of its accuracy and i would say sometimes even more accurate than thunder and a bit more rewarding when you are shooting ap on broadside battleships or cruisers because this ap literally going to settle battleships even at 22 to 24 kilometers it has insanely bonkers ap that no one can surpass in its penetration <laughs> that slava is just ridiculous if you get a broadside battleship i mean expect to get at least a citadel if you have a really good aim and with this accuracy with 1.9 sigma just like i said battle cruiser dispersion you cannot go wrong with slava absolutely insane in its firing range uh, and probably the most accurate after uh, yamato and thunder i sometimes rate slava a bit more uh than thunder because of its accuracy and it is available right now for research bureau points if you are willing to regrind lines in world of warships well you can have this ship in the game but again uh, a bit of a poor armor i would say even more than poor armor for today's standards in 2024 you have 25 millimeter armor so it's sort of a cruiser-ish uh you know armor at the bow and stern so yeah it's very vulnerable to take uh, a lot of penetration damage from the bow and it is definitely only relying on its guns more than anything and broadsides more than anything. But still, regardless, accuracy, if you want accuracy, if you cannot pipe Thunderer, I think Slava is a good choice. Rugrario Delaria is also a good choice, an alternate of Thunderer and Yamato is obviously. But uh, Slava is a number three pick. The guns are infamously accurate. Still in 2024, the gun's penetration is just a nightmarish bonkers. <laughs> Pretty much stupid to be honest. Uh, you can sit at all Yamato's at 23, 24 kilometers sometimes if they are flat broadside. It's really, really insane, guys. So definitely uh, Slava at number three is a good choice. But I want to just mention, I want to add these bonuses because i mean these are also pretty accurate like in terms of the numbers mecklenburg is also very accurate okay now just like slava it has battle cruiser dispersion but on top of that you also have 2.05 sigma 2.05 sigma so it's better than slava but the, the, the only issue with the mecklenburg really is even though it has 16 guns 305 millimeter which which are a lot of guns with insanely good reload time but the problem uh, compared to slava really is this penetration is not enough so you won't feel that rewarded if you are shooting at long ranges maybe at close ranges or medium ranges yeah that a lot of alpha does hurt even though the caliber is low and citadeling battleship is going to be is going to be pretty difficult to be honest so i would still rate slava more than mecklenburg just for that even though accuracy wise mecklenburg can be a better pick that's what i what i think but I would say both are 
on the similar edge at number three and i would rate macklin mega slava pretty much similar but slava has a, having more uh value at long ranges so slava is going to be at my number three choice all right so at number two we are going to have a, another japanese battleship an alternate line of yamato that is bungo and boy oh boy it does bingo the citadels out of those cruisers or even battleship i won't say citadeling battleships that much because the penetration compared to yamato is low but these are 457 millimeter guns and probably the most accurate out of all of the battleships if you use one thing and that is its high precision spotter now if i am not wrong bungo has 2.2 sigma better 0.1 sigma value than yamato and you have ton guns one shell more that you throw on a ship than yamato but again it has battleship dispersion again the alpha damage on ap is less than yamato but boy oh boy once you use this high precision spotter it reduces just literally slaps down this main battery shell dispersion minus 20 percent and bungo gets around to the battle cruiser dispersion literally if you just use this spotter you will just literally realize that you're just basically going to hit every single bit of a shell on a ship especially on battleships or even death striking cruisers is not gonna be difficult right i mean weakness is obviously gonna be a lot much more prominent than yamato now yamato does have cheeks issue right it has cheeks issue if i can show yamato real quick the cheek is real for yamato it is definitely a dead sentence to show slightly bit of a broadside like this. This is very vulnerable cheek. But on the other hand, Bungo is just like cheek cheek everywhere. I'm not going to say cheek cheek, but still. Uh, 32 millimeter armor all over the place compared to Yamato's deck armor, which is 57 millimeter. Uh, and the superstructure is definitely out there. So Bungo, it is good consumer. I mean, consumer is really good. 12 point some, 12.1 kilometer or something. So consumer is really good. But that's the thing. That's the thing that you have to utilize to its fullest potential. It has cruiser level of concealment, literally. But that these guns are just deadly accurate. These are absolute crazy bonkers accuracy once you use this precision spotter plane. And I, I don't know who just come up with this balance of giving a bungo a spotter plane with this high, uh, you know, caliber guns that just literally overmatches 30 millimeter cruisers. I mean, you are a cruiser's nightmare. Literally, these shells are absolute kick butt. And honestly, the butt will feel sorry after watching that. <laughs> so, Bungo is ridiculously powerful. I don't know the balance department where it is gone when they are testing out Bungo. But Bungo literally bingos the crap out of everything out there. So, yeah. Accuracy is really there with the high precision spotter. So, number two, Bungo is the best. I would definitely going to say but there's number one and the bonus chapter as well uh probably my favorite battleship in world of warships but let's talk about the number one quickly all right so the most accurate battleships in world of warships i would say is going to be a dockyard ship wisconsin bungo is a tech free battleship you can grind out for yourself which is probably in my opinion the second best accurate gun i would say compared to other uh you know battleships out there but the wisconsin is just on another level honestly now wisconsin compared to all the other battleships like slava rubriar deloria thunder well it has battle cruiser dispersion but instead of slava's 2.0 oh sorry 1.9 sigma or you know rubriar deloria's 1.9 sigma it has 2.0 sigma but then hold on for a second. Okay, Wisconsin has 2.0 Sigma and Battle Cruiser Dispersion. Isn't what Mecklenburg also has? I mean, it also has 2.05 Sigma, so it's slightly better than Wisconsin. So what Wisconsin really has? Well, do you see this whole flag that is behind the Wisconsin? This is an American battleship, guys. And it comes with Artillery Plotting Room Mod 2, which improves the main battery shell dispersion even further than any other class out there. Or any other, I would say... Uh, nation out there so wisconsin is absolutely insane with these 406 millimeter guns now these are really accurate guns. and i mean if you pop the spotter plane and with this range that it has 
you're just gonna be having amazing time when playing Wisconsin. I mean, this is for truly accurate battleship lovers. This is really accurate. That's my opinion. I believe probably the most accurate guns at at least 406 millimeter. Maybe at 457 millimeter, I will just give that number to Bungo or that credit to Bungo and you can grind it out. Unfortunately, Wisconsin, another rare ship now because the dockyard is gone. And it was recently available. I think it's like three, four months old dockyard ship. So if you have missed out on Doc, uh, Wisconsin, um, I'm really sorry. You just cannot get it anymore. But still, 2.0 Sigma, main battery, artillery uh, room mod modification 2, and battle cruiser dispersion. You have defensive air fire. So it's not like the carrier is going to be having so much fun on you. But at least they will have fun. But they will lose some fun as well with their planes, right? They will lose planes. A weird spotter that has short action time and short cooldown time. I mean, who really don't want that spotter, right? Better spotter for sure. And then you have heals and then you on top of that, you have this super ship levels of capabilities by having a slap on main battery reload time and consumables. Go figure it out if you just want to have a DPM buff and just uh, having your consumables ready with this, with just a press of the F button. Yeah, you just basically press F to every other ship when you just press it. Yeah. Go figure it out. So Wisconsin, not only it's broken by its design by giving him an F button, which just literally makes it superior to any other ship at mid to close ranges. Maybe uh, you also have these most accurate guns in World of Warships. So go figure it out. Wisconsin is insane. Wisconsin is probably some of the most powerful battleships that they have added in World of Warships. Your HP might not be enough. It's eighty-one thousand, but I don't really care if you can just able to use all the heals. I mean, you can heal literally get super heal with a, you know, with a time of around 15 or 10 seconds. Because once you press the F key, just after getting the re repair party down, or I would say in cooldown, you will just reduce this cooldown to literally like 10 to 12 seconds with this F button and you become a super heal conqueror. But in American battleship Hull, Wisconsin. So, and I mean, you also get reload buff and what really not. Ah, so that's basically my list of the most accurate battleships in World of Warship. I think I'm taking too long, but it's fun to talk about these battleships because these are really powerful. So, number one is going to be Wisconsin. Okay, I'm gonna be just summarizing it every single thing that I have talked about. Number one is going to be Wisconsin, in my opinion. Number two is going to be Bungo. All right, it's also really accurate for 2.2 Sigma and high precision spotter. It's just a stupid design, in my opinion. I don't know. It's just feel. It feels like that. Number three is going to be Slava. Absolutely insane penetration AP is. <laughs> it's it's insane. It is still going to be insane, and it will ever going to be insane unless they will come up with Super Slava. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Mecklenburg is kind of very much resembles in terms of accuracy with a lot of guns at 305 it's really nice so yeah really good at number three number four is going to be obviously Thunderer very accurate right like Thunder is a rare ship so I don't talk much but the HE is stupid the AP is also pretty much almost stupid with this accuracy so you cannot go wrong with Thunderer with this consumer that is also almost the levels of absurdity and then on the fifth number yamato is still going to be the king i mean it's number five for me but i'm quite sure it's gonna be number two or number one for many out there because this is probably one of the battleships that a lot of players or a lot of new players might be grinding it out because of its historical perspective of its historical importance I hope you guys like the video and if you do find it interesting please let me know in the comment section what do you think about all of these battleships now bonus question or i would say bonus ship is going to be ohio now ohio is not really accurate it has 2.0 sigma 2.0 sigma and a normal battleship dispersion ellipse but still with again if you slap the mod which is this artillery plotting room mod 2 
uh, Ohio becomes also relatively accurate, but the thing is that Ohio is a tank beast as well as secondaries uh, you know having decent secondaries and that really fast heal so Ohio is still something else I really don't need super accuracy in Ohio Ohio is a beast on its own that can just win games if it, if it pushes in a right time along with the right teammates I'm telling you Ohio is that good with his heals you cannot go wrong with that like fast super fast heals secondaries yeah, you're just gonna spew on even destroyers if you have Halsey and Halsey you know is a broken captain you get 20% better reload on many things so yeah I hope you liked the video and if you do find it interesting please like comment and subscribe and I will catch you guys into the next one peace out